Okay, I just got my new gadget today. The TED device. That's not it, that's just the box. But that's it underneath my monitor. And I'll show you how I put it in today and what I've been doing with it. Okay, let me take you over to the closet here where the circuit breaker panel is. I've taken the cover off the panel to show you the units that go inside here. There's two parts to the TED system that are inside the circuit breaker panel. The first part are called the CTs. There's two of those, one on each phase incoming to the house here. CT stands for current transformer. What that does is it measures the amount of current and amps being used by the house at any given moment. It sends that data through the lines, these little wires here, over to this little black box. And that black box transforms that information into a signal that gets sent over these white and black wires here. Uh, into the house wiring and the other side of the device which is on the desk receives that signal over the house wires and uh, this gives you a display on how many volts and amps and watts you're using essentially so this part of the install took me maybe 30 minutes and uh, if you're not comfortable with electrical work like this then uh, definitely call a licensed electrician but it's quite simple to do um, if you know a little bit about what's in your circuit breaker box here. Alright, so I'll take you back to the um, the RDU, which is their term for the receiving display unit, and I'll show you what that's telling Okay, so what you see on my desk in my office here is the um, RDU, receiving display unit, and it has a number of things on the display here. Basically, you program it with your local information, the time, the date, um, how much you pay for power in your area in, kil in kilowatt hours. And uh, around here, we pay about 11, almost 12 cents per kilowatt hour. You put that information into the box, and you tell it when your billing cycle is, and it tells you how many uh, kilowatts you're using at any given moment and then it adds that all up over the days and uh, weeks and months and will give you a picture of how much energy you're using and how much it's going to cost. The nice bit about this whole thing is it's got a USB cable that goes to my computer here and on the screen now we can look at a piece of software that will tell us in real time what's happening in the house. You can see that uh, currently in this main display in the center dial here we're using about 1.7 kilowatts of energy and a watt is a measure of the current times the voltage and gives you an overall picture of how much power you're using that's equal to about 17 100 watt light bulbs if you want to think of it that way so it's really not that much but over time it adds up there are a lot of other nice little graphs here that you can get into um, how many kilowatts you've used since midnight how many kilowatts this month. Uh, it'll give you a projection on how much it looks like you're going to be using at the given rate. Uh, what the current voltage is, which is kind of nice to know. Uh, currently running at about 121, 122 volts in the house right now. And the average daily kilowatt hour usage. There's a whole bunch of other things that you can do here. A couple of which are, so there's some graphs. This is a live view of our voltage use which is in red and the kilowatt usage here there's a couple spikes uh, you can see there and what that is is I just turned on the coffee maker upstairs and the first spike is probably the heating element heating the water and the second spike is the heating element keeping the coffee uh, hot in the, in the pot there so I'll take you around now and show you a couple things that I've measured because it's kind of cool at this point you can go around the house and turn lights on and off and uh, turn microwaves and, and coffee makers and, and your clothes dryer on and off and see how much power that it actually translates into. Let's go. Alright, now we're upstairs in the kitchen and I can show you one of the cool things that I can do is uh, we can walk around the house and take a look at how much power we're using. I'll do that with my iPhone. I have a remote control application here. I'll go to my computer, connect to my computer, and here we go. We're back on the software, viewing it through my computer remotely, 
And you can see right now that we're using about 1.35 kilowatts. Now let's see what happens if we turn these lights on underneath the cabinets. 1.51, 1.74. So we're using about you know, roughly 300 watts underneath the uh, cabinets here for the lights. Good to know. 1.74. Now what if we turn on the hot water heater T-Mark maker here. Turn that on. We go from 1.74 to 3.1 a little over 3.1 you can hear the water starting to heat up so we've just gone up about 1200 watts turn that off you can watch the meter go back down ok now we're hovering right around 1.7 kilowatts. Let's uh, turn off the heater on the coffee maker. 1.7 just drop down to 1.59 1.6, 1 1.59. 1 so that's about uh, 100 watts or so. And that thing's keeping the coffee warm. Good to know. Well, let's turn these lights off. 1.6 down to 1.3 alright now let's say I want something heated up in the microwave alright minute there we go we go from 1.4 up to 5. It's going to take a jump here. I haven't lost my remote connection to my computer. There we go. It just responded. 3.04. So that went up about uh, 1500 watts or so. 1500 watts. That shows you how much energy you're using on the microwave. Let's stop that. from 3 back down to 1.4 it's about 1600 watts that's pretty uh, pretty hot alright now let's say I want to know how much the uh, lights in the living room use up alright I'm going to turn on the lights here there's 1 2 3 we go from 1.4 up to 1.7, so about a good 300 watts when I've got all the lights on in the living room here. Alright, let's shut those off. One's off, two's off, and three is off. There it goes, back down to 1.4, 1.5. Alright, now I want to watch a little TV. Take the remote here and click on the TV. Cable box is already on. We go from 1.51, 1, 1.52, and the uh, LCD is heating up. There we go. TV's on. That's about 110, 120 watts. It's like two 60 watt light bulbs. Not too bad. Alright, let's turn that back off. There you go. It should go right straight back down. Beautiful.